Friends, are you also upgrading to iOS 18? But have you noticed that after the upgrade, your phone often gets too hot, causing it to lag? Don't worry, this video will introduce three methods to help you solve this problem. Method 1 Force Restart iPhone For iPhone 8 and later. Quickly press and release the volume up button. Then do the same thing with volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. Now your iPhone will restart and you can use it as a fresh iPhone. Method 2 Remove app you don't need to fix iPhone overheat. When you have too many apps on your phone, it can slow down your device and cause it to overheat. So, try deleting some apps you don't need to reduce the load on your phone. Press the app and remove it. And you also can delete the widgets. Method 3 Downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17 with Imiphone Fixbo. Step 1 Download Imiphone Fixbo from the bio in the descriptions below and launch Fixbo, then choose the iOS upgrade slash downgrade from the interface. Step 2 Click the iOS downgrade to downgrade from iOS 18 beta to iOS 17. Step 3 Connect your iPhone to PC with USB. Follow the on-screen instructions to put your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and above, instantly click and release the volume up key and then the volume down key. Press and hold the side button until you see this. Step 4 Fixbo will detect your iPhone system and show you the available iOS firmware version to download and downgrade. Click the download button to get the iOS firmware for downgrading. When the firmware is downloaded, click the start downgrade iOS button for Fixbo to begin downgrading your current iOS version to older iOS. In a few minutes, the downgrading process will be complete. After successfully downgrading, you can get back to the stable system you had before and won't face overheating issues anymore. Hey everyone! Have you encountered this issue on your iPhone after upgrading to iOS 18? Whether it's photos or videos, is your camera screen showing a black screen? Don't worry, keep watching this video as we've got 4 solutions for you. Let's get started! Alright, our first method is to force restart your phone. Press the volume up and volume down buttons, then press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo, and then release. Now let's reboot. If it still doesn't work, don't worry, keep reading, there's definitely a method that can pretty much fix your iPhone. The second method is reset all settings. Please note, this method will result in data loss, so make sure to back up your data beforehand. Now go to Settings, find General, scroll down, click on Transfer and Reset iPhone, then click Reset. From the options, select Reset All Settings. Enter your passcode and wait for your iPhone to restart. Now check your iPhone camera. If this method still doesn't work. The third method involves using software. You'll need a computer, either a Mac or Windows. You can download iMyPhone Fixbo for free by clicking the link provided below. It's worth mentioning that this won't cause any data loss. Open Fixbo. Connect your iPhone to the computer, trust it, and select Standard Mode. The next step is putting your iPhone into Recovery Mode. You can follow the guide from here for all models. For iPhone 8 and above, instantly click and release the Volume Up key and then the Volume Down key. Press and hold the side button until you see this. On the next page that appears, click download to install the latest firmware for the iOS version on your device. Once the firmware is downloaded, click on start to fix, and the software will automatically start fixing the issues. Now let's check the camera. Success! You can now freely use your camera. The fourth method is to long press the camera, click remove camera from home screen. Then go to the app's library and reopen the camera. This method might not be successful. It's recommended to use the Fixbo software for a data loss-free solution. Well, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.